30 tonight, low-lying Norfolk neighborhoods and flooding seem to go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. Scientists blame it on a continued sea level rise. But the city has taken steps to ease the nuisance flooding. And today, Senator Tim Kaine got a look. Tim on your side, Ava Hurdle is in the newsroom with that story tonight. Ava? Anita, Senator Kaine admits it's a challenge given the climate change issue, but says Norfolk is proving a model for tackling the problem. It's the center of naval power, according to Senator Tim Kaine. That's the Norfolk Naval Base, but scientists predict it could be flooded in the years to come as the sea level rises. Not because of storms, just normal tidal action by 2040 being underwater three hours a day. That, that was the one that made me snap back and say, wow, I've got to take this very seriously. Senator Kaine made those remarks as he toured a neighborhood where homes have been raised to ease issues with flooding. These are pictures from Richmond Crescent, which has seen its share of floodwaters over the years. You couldn't really drive around here. You had to drive elsewhere and go alternate routes, detours. But now it's drivable and livable. That's because of millions of dollars in infrastructure improvements and other changes Norfolk has made here and across the city over the past few years. It's part of a comprehensive plan. That's in part why we changed our zoning ordinance about 18 months ago uh, to require new construction or 50 percent re uh, renovations to be three feet above uh, base flood elevation. So it's building to the future. Senator Kane admits he's impressed. I've learned about how Norfolk is attacking the challenge today with investments, but also with zoning changes and things like that. Norfolk can be a good model. Norfolk has outlined a plan in its efforts to handle stormwater runoff and nuisance flooding. Live in the newsroom, Ava Hurdle, 10 on your side. Senator Kane left Norfolk for a stop at Fort Eustis to talk with troops about getting credentials that would ease their transition to civilian life. Governor Terry